Amy Duggar has insisted she would jump at the chance to join the cast of Dancing with the Stars after having once been forced to turn down an offer to take part in the reality series by her uncle Jim Bob. Amy, 36, told the U.S. Sun in an exclusive interview that she was forbidden from appearing on the hit show a number of years ago because Jim Bob's strict religious beliefs deemed dancing to be a sin. I didn't turn it down. Are you kidding me? I would have loved to have done it, Amy excitedly declared when asked about the offer to join the competition program. I've never danced a day in my life, but come on let's do it. Come on Disney. Come on ABC. I'm ready. The ABC show, which has now moved to Disney+, Plus, often has celebrity dancers perform in racy costumes with sexy dance moves. Jim Bob raised his daughters to dress incredibly modest and prohibited them from dancing or listening to popular music. While Amy grew up under more lenient rules than her cousins, she was a regular on the Duggar family show 19 Kids and counting at the time the offer to appear on DWTS came in. Amy didn't name who blocked her from participating in the ballroom dance extravaganza, but a source close to the family previously claimed to the US Sun that it was Jim Bob who pulled the plug. Well, my family doesn't believe in dancing and I was on the show at that time, said Amy. And so it was turned down very quickly because they did not want me to dance because that's a sin. And I was told I couldn't take part simply because that's wrong and that's not what women do. 19 Kids and Counting was eventually cancelled in 2015 after nine seasons and 227 episodes when shocking allegations came to light that Jim Bob's son, Josh, had a cost of five underage family members as a teenager. Amy began to distance herself from the family in the wake of the scandal. She appeared on just five episodes of the family spin-off Counting On, which didn't feature Josh, before deciding to quit. Counting On was eventually cancelled in June 2021 after Josh was arrested on CP charges. When asked if she missed starring in either of the Duggar family shows, Amy insisted she didn't, but said she had fond memories from that time. The adventures were great, she reflected. I mean, we'd been all over everywhere was insane and so fun, and you can't get that back, you know? So those are like, core memories that I have. But going forward, I really like where life is headed. Should the opportunity arise to star in her own reality show in the future, Amy said she'd be up in the air about the idea. But, if she was able to truly be herself, Without some of the choreography that can sometimes be orchestrated by producers on such shows, then she'd definitely consider it. I think I would if I could truly be myself, and what you see is what you get, then yes, Amy said. But at the same time, I want to protect my son and if we have future kids, or whatever, I would want to protect them as well. With TV and cameras, as you can tell, there's a camera on me right now, she continued, gesturing to the lens and we have nothing to hide. The skeletons are already out there. I was told I couldn't do DWTS simply because that's wrong and that's not what women do Amy's husband Dylan King, meanwhile, is far more sold on the idea. He said, the banter between us is great. I would do it personally. I don't have the personality where fame. I couldn't care less about being famous. I suppose the only thing with doing any kind of reality TV is you're gonna get more well-known and things can start to become a little bit more of a pain in the a asterisk asterisk da. Amy and Dylan spoke at length with the US Sun from the building site of their new cigar lounge and restaurant, Wellington 2, which is due to open its doors in Springdale, Arkansas, later this month. During the sit-down, Amy also revealed for the first time a conversation she shared with her cousin Josh sometime after his scandal came to light. She said, Josh told me a long time ago, when I asked him why he tried it with the other girls and not me, I asked him, why did you never try anything with me? And he said, because I knew you would have kicked my asterisk asterisk dot. In that moment, Amy says she responded to Josh, correct. I would have kicked your a asterisk asterisk dot. But in the years since, 
And in light of her embattled cousin's fall from grace, Josh's apparent reasoning continues to sit uneasily with Amy. I was shocked first of all that he cussed, she said. But, it shows he knew who to target, people who were weaker and who were going to be too scared to say anything. Amy continued, I would have kicked his a asterisk asterisk and it would not have been a hidden thing. But it's so sad and messed up that it did happen. And it's so messed up, so screwed up, but he knew that. Requests for comment from two legal representatives of Josh went unanswered. Josh was later arrested and charged in 2021 with receiving and possessing CP. Though he protested his innocence, Josh was found guilty and sentenced to 151 months in prison on May 25. Troublingly, Amy also believes that more disturbing information regarding Josh may come to light yet still. I do think there'll be more to come out and I do think that we'll find out more information and eventually someone will talk or someone will spill something," she said. Despite his horrific crimes, Amy said she believes her cousin is not a total lost cause, but says he is a lost soul. I believe he is a lost soul, but his soul does matter," she added. I hope he has a radical change in his life, but no one can do that for him. It has to be his choice.